David Aluka here, joined by the one and only legendary Green Machine himself. I'm talking about world number one, the reigning and defending William Hill World Darts Champion. You're getting good at this. Oh, mate. Michael. Van Joe, Mc, Joe McDonald's gone. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? How are you doing? I feel good. I feel good, yeah. I can't complain, to be fair. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I love it. Um, it's been another great year for you, right? What's your highlights been this year? Uh, especially the last few months, uh, I'm playing quite well. I, did, uh, I won the Champions League of Darts, uh, the, 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 the World Series Finals, the Players Championship Finals, so uh, the, the World Grand Prix. So the last few months have been quite good. Before that, I had a little pe patch I was off. I didn't play 100% my best. But uh, I'm back in winning way, so right on time, isn't it, for the William Hill World <laughs> Championship? <laughs> I see you. Yeah. Gearing up perfectly for that. For the big one. Absolutely. Um, now you just picked up the players' championships yeah. uh, and banged a nine daughter during it as well. You must feel pretty invincible right now. You must feel like I'm the boss. You <laughs> yes. know it. You know it. Yeah, yeah. But that's that's what good things we do with you when you win games, when you win tournaments, throw nine daughter. You think, hey, Absolutely. come on, then boys, <laughs> take it on. Like like you said, touching on being good at something, you you've always got to have an adversary. There's always got to be someone else that's there pushing you and making you better. Yeah, but a rivalry makes you better. And if you have play good games on on high level and then win, oh, it gives you a great feeling. And that's <laughs> what we want to do, isn't it? Straight up. Yeah, straight up. Straight yeah. up and down. Who, touching on that, who do you consider to be your biggest rival, ste rival stepping into the uh, William Hill World Arts Championships? Ooh, there's, yeah. a, there's a few, to be fair. Uh, I think uh, Rob Cross, he had a... He's not playing phenomenal darts, but he had a few good peaks this year mm -hmm. with winning uh, the World Match Play, the European Darts Championships. Uh, but of course, Gerwin Price, he's playing really well lately. And never write Gary Anderson off because he's phenomenal. But <laughs> you, you never know because a lot of people are playing quite good darts. He also, Peter White and all. But uh, yeah, I think I'm a little bit favourite at your tournament. <laughs> you like being favourite? You like? Yes, why not? That means you're doing quite well over the year. Yeah, because I know some people... Three people don't have trust in you, yeah. because otherwise they won't bet on you. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Some people, some people don't enjoy being the favourite or having the spotlight yeah, or the pressure but on them. Yeah, that's but what happens if you're good in what you do. And uh, I created that myself. I created everything against me, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I have a big target on my back, and I got a big back. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? They try to hit it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Your uh, compatriot, your uh, country, fellow countryman, this is his final year. Yeah. Um, do you uh, remember your first game uh, with, with Barney? Yeah, I played loads of games uh, against him and the, the first one I think was at the big tournament, was it the Grand Slam, no, was it the Masters of Darts, I lost the big game I played on television against him, I lost to him, unfortunately, but yeah, things like happen and now he's going to retire after this tournament, so yeah, people get older and they're going to stop playing, you know, it happened with Phil Taylor and now it's going to happen with Raymond. But the new kids are on the block already, you know, with Nathan Espinel, Guerin Price and everyone. Absolutely. Some, some new challenges. <laughs> did, did, uh, were, you in, were you inspired by Barney's uh, yeah, by, by success? By success, 100%, because he's a, true, he, he's a winner. And that's what I learned of him. Of course, we are totally different person. Something what I didn't took over, he's quite negative and I'm very positive. So that sometimes... Um, make some nice arguments and discussions to, <laughs> towards each other yes. in, a, in a good way. But uh, you always learn of everyone and you need to, the, the, the most important thing, take the good things out of it and use them and leave the rest. Absolutely. How about an MVG versus a Barney final this year? Could happen, could happen. Depends on the draw, or maybe I can get him in the, in the second round. You don't, you don't know, do you know what I mean? Exactly. I don't hope for him, but... <laughs> <laughs> but you'd have no problem uh, getting rid of him? No, no, no. That's <laughs> people getting older and they retire. So uh, yeah, and if I hope to play him, some I like to. Uh, to be sign the, him be, off. Be, you, yeah. you want you want to be the one to give the, the final sword, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nail in the coffin. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> <laughs> well, Michael, thank you so much. You're it's welcome. been an absolute pleasure. We look forward to seeing you uh, at the uh, World Arts Championships. Thank you very much, mate. Thank you.